One of the weakest things that people in the church will try to uh, argue is that the new Sabbath is on Sunday. And the reason that this is so weak is because there is literally, literally no biblical proof. Wilson tries to find some here. He, he fails miserably. Um, and uh, James White uh, tries to do this. He goes to Revelation 1 where it, where it says, now uh, I saw on the Lord's Day, he says that since the term Lord's Day was used, clearly the Sabbath has been changed to Sunday. This, I mean, this is beyond a stretch. This is way beyond a stretch. Um, there's nowhere in the Bible where it says that the Sabbath has been changed or even alludes to it. Now, Wilson, I, I didn't have time to, to pull clips. I would have pulled clips normally. Let's just keep going with Gregory's email because he explains this well. Doug Wilson, he goes on into the Greek translation of the resurrection account in all four gospels and translates the first day of the week as first day Sabbath. Could this be because it was the first day of first fruits and was actually considered Sabbath? No, it is not. The reason that it is called first day Sabbath, and I will let uh, Rob take off on this, and Rob has done a full teaching on this. We will link this in the show notes as well. The reason that, uh, that it is called first day Sabbath is because this is how the Jews and once again, 30 seconds, if Doug Wilson would have looked for 30 seconds into basically any major commentary on the Gospels and this phrase, he would have realized that this is simply the way that the Jews counted the, the days. First day uh, from the Sabbath is how we would reckon this in English. Second day, from, it's not just first day. They, throughout history, first day from the Sabbath. Second day from the Sabbath, that would be Monday, third day from the Sabbath, Tuesday, fourth day from the Sabbath, Wednesday, so on and so forth. So he is taking this term, which is used, at, instead of saying Sunday, they say first day from the Sabbath. He is taking this and he's saying, aha, see, look, it means the first day is the Sabbath, not from the Sabbath is the Sabbath. Now, Wilson doesn't say that because it doesn't seem like he has any knowledge of how they reckoned the days in the first century. This is a major blunder and one that is pretty easily avoided if you just read just a little bit, Rob. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it is pretty crazy. Uh, I, I remember the first I heard of it was uh Harold camping like 20, 30 years ago, preaching yep. that, Oh, sabaton, like he was talking about this uh, phrase that you see in the gospels about the day that they went to the tomb and found that it was empty. And he translated the first of the Sabbaths. And therefore, that was the scriptural foundation to say the day of the resurrection or the, yeah, the Sunday, the first day of the week was the first of the new Sabbaths, that it's a new, and, and it's just, I mean, it's in the gospel of Matthew, right? Um, whereas Yeshua had just said in, in Matthew 24, pray that it not be on the Sabbath. <laughs> right that the the idea that all of a sudden all Yeshua's disciples and apostles would be advancing the claim that a new creation now is underway wherein the old order is done and the first day of the week is now the new sabbath is it's such a, a such a ludicrous claim yeah, it, it's it, it's just awful, but you do find it. I think in the second century in the this epistle of Barnabas, and I think uh, Wilson cites that, which is awful. It's like why would, build on rock, man? <laughs> you know, build on rock. Yeah, I mean, in the very beginning, Wilson says in the very beginning of the lecture, Wilson says. Many people believe that uh, Constantine changed the Sabbath to Sunday and that it's pagan and all these kind of things. That's all nonsense. And I was like, agreed. Wilson's off to a good start. That's what I thought. It's like, yes, let's go, Wilson. And after that statement, almost everything he says is wrong. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell us your thoughts on this subject by leaving a comment in the comment section. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and enable those notifications. And we'll see you in the next video.